So how, how, how Charlie Jude's coming to the plane? Oh, I thought you was going there when you mentioned Charlie. Alright. <laughs> so, um mm. uh, let me tell you this and go back to No. I thought I mentioned the Squires, right? Yeah. Right. The Squires in nineteen seventy three I wrote the whole of Squires repertoire for the carnival. Right? Because writing there really takes me because I could have play all the time. Mm. So I sacrificed a little six months, learn how to write properly, mm. and of all of the PLA situation, all right, mm. 72 and all that. So all the college in 1973, I did it for the squires, right? So the squires went to 1973, 1974, 1975. 1975, we came and get a contract in a Hilton, Carnival Bar. Mm. So we couldn't cry the whole band. Mm. You know what kind of thing? So, we had a Cody band, Lennox Sam, we cried Lennox Sam to play lead. Mm. He played clarinet and alto. Mm. Um, Lenny Benardi, Bonduk Minard, and myself, and Gordon Nathaniel. So, they played in Hilton, mm -hmm. the Carnival band. Right? Um, we played on this side here, and then you have Philip Roach. And then and we, La Buka. And La Buka, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have get appearances over there with John Body Williams and then they will do something bring over the bass in the carnival bar and tape. And it had this guy, a guy named Larry Atwell. This guy is old. Uh, he is. Kind of crazy. Right. Uh, but he was an outpatient at um St. Anne's. Mm -hmm. But somehow he like he liked to he didn't, he didn't have no way to go home then, mm -hmm. right? So he used to have to go in there to sleep, mm -hmm. right? So, but he used to be well dressed and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had one suit, suit and all kind of thing, but yeah. he had one exalt. Mm -hmm. And he had a guitar there and he would walk with the guitar. And that man used to come and play in the carnival bar. And this and that. Eh? And we used to do, even though when our break time come, we used to say, if you want a break time, he, like we have to live, yeah. we jamming right through there and all kind of thing. Yeah. But the management of Hilton at the time, Agito, used to come in and say, um, You don't want no jazz in the carnival bar. You don't want that guy there. You don't employ there. You don't do that, 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 that. that. Mm. And we still, you know, because in music, we didn't go, a musician some long time then was so tight, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't have no competition with us. But we used to welcome everybody and everybody used to ja jam in mm -hmm. and be learning at the same time. So we had taken on Agito. You know that? Mm -hmm. And um, it came like um, in, I think it's 76. Yeah, Carnival. He wanted us to come and play. We had to play Carnival Monday night in the bar. Mm -hmm. And Carnival Tuesday night in the bar. And come and renew the contract from us Wednesday. You see, you're yeah, yeah, really bunk for that contract. You're going out, you know, you're know, mm -hmm. going to do different things after. So, I think the um, child going into like Little Carib, mm -hmm. on a different scene you now. The Derek Walcott shows, mm -hmm. right? Brad, and Brad is a leader. <laughs> Brad is a real, 
you know, you should be everybody know Bradley and they know what he could do. Mm. How about the group? So yeah. any little thing he get into, you say incorporate us now. Mm. Right? You get into Derek Walker thing, you had to go to rehearsal and this and that and that. But Derek Walker was kinda tight too. Yeah, I, we always used to talk to the artist on them. Mm-hmm. And the his cast. Mm-hmm. We find that was kinda too thing and this and that and that. Yeah, yeah, I pull out. I mm-hmm. went I end up concentrating on two world. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And you bring um he had a writer from America. Mm-hmm. I can't remember if a guy named to come and write he used to write in music I think so the guy ended up playing. Right? But um we used to be in the studio. Mm. So I did after I did Savage with my mm. show. Mm. Right? I did then Choka came in, I did all kind of everybody I did make a hit. Everybody. Joe Tembu Caesar from Tobago. Raja from uh, Indian guy from um, um Saint Joseph, yeah, he make a hit, right? The Kalisa Rose was making hit. Everything she put out at that time was Rose, right? Um, we did a Christmas thing with Kitchener. We bring back um, Jinka Ramana Poncha Prima mm. with Kitchener. So I did we sit down in the studio, and at that time. Byron Lino was coming to Trinidad with a different setup. Is that Kalyan? You know Kalyan band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalyan was outside there too. Mm. Right? And Byron Lee. Byron Lee coming to Trinidad to play like in Tranquil, big party. Mm. But Byron Lee started yeah. coming out with mm. song system, reinforced song system. Right? Mm-hmm. With big board and all kind of things, so on this and that and the other. Right? So we went to those when in, in, in uh, when it was 60, 76, 77 and mm. Kalyan and Baron Lee was outside there. Right? So we sit down in the studio and they and say, you know what we in the studio every day, right? Why we make a road band again? A road a band to go on the road to play out now. Mm-hmm. Right? So um, we had a group. After Esquires and we went in we went into um, we went into Hilton after Hilton. Mm. And we came out of Hilton. We call the group Sensational Roots. And we started to do we started to go all over the country now. This group, small mm. group, and we have people like me, with Johnny Spark, 